Hey everyone! In this video today, I'm going to show you guys how to make this sort of minimalistic arrow friendship bracelet. It's very simple, very quick to work up. This is also a really good pattern if you want one that's a bit more gender neutral because of its minimalism and because it's a bit thinner. And I think it looks really nice with a sort of two-tone combination. So if you want to learn how to make this arrow bracelet, then keep on watching. You are only going to need eight strings and two colors, which means you will need four strings for each of your colors. So I have four of my black strands here and four of my red strings here. And with this bracelet, whichever one you want to be the more background color, you want these strings to be a little bit longer than the ones with the arrows because you will be using them a lot more. And then from the outside to the middle, you want to order your strings, background, arrow, arrow, background. So first what we want to do is take our outermost left and right strings and make knots to bring them to our sort of imaginary center line here. So on the left side first, I'm going to take my outermost left string and do forward knots onto the next three of my strings to the right of it to bring it to the middle. Because I don't have any sort of start on this bracelet, I'm trying to make my knots pretty loose, at least to start out, so that the top doesn't look too wonky. And then I will repeat that on the right side, but instead mirroring that. So I'm going to take my outermost right strand and do backward knots onto the next three of my strings to the left of it to bring it to the center as well. And then I'm going to take these two strings that I brought to the center and I am just going to make a forward knot with them, but you can make whichever knot you want since they are the same color. And then coming back to the left side, I'm going to take my newest outermost left strand, which will be the first color out of my two arrow colors. And this time I'm just going to do forward knots onto the next two of these strings to the right of it. And then still on this left side here, I'm going to pick up the background string that is in between my two arrow colored strings. And then while I am still on the left side, I am going to take my fourth string from the left. And I am going to do backward knots on all three of these strings to the left of it to bring it to the left side and kind of close off this small section that we did here. And now we are going back over to the right side where we are going to repeat everything we just did, but this time we're sort of mirroring it. So we are taking our outermost right strand 
and we're just going to do backward knots onto these next two strings to the left of it. And then again, pick up the background string that is in between our two arrow colored strings and this time just do a forward knot onto the string to the right of it to bring it over to the very right side. And then the fourth string from the right, which will be our black strand sort of in the middle here, you want to take that and do forward knots on the next three strings to the right of it to bring it over to the very right side. And for our very last section in this whole set, already, <laughs> we are first going to take our middle two strings here, and we are just going to tie a knot with them. Like I said before, you can do any knot you want. I'm just going to do a forward knot here. And then you're going to take these two center strings and do a couple more knots to bring them closer to the outside. So with the left string of our middle two here, I am going to do backward knots just onto the next two strings to the left of it. And then with the right strand of our middle two, I'm going to do forward knots onto the next two strings to the right of it. And then again, take your middle two strands and just do a knot with them. And then you will take these background strands that are kind of in the middle here and you will bring them to the center and then tie a knot together with them. So on the left side, I will take this background strand and just do a forward knot onto my red strand to the right of it. And then on the right side, I will take this background strand and do a backward knot onto the arrow colored string to the left of it. And then lastly, I'm going to take these middle two background strands and just tie a knot with them. And that is the whole set completed. It really is that easy. It is super repetitive because you're doing the same things on the left and right side, which can be a good thing if you're trying to step out of your comfort zone and learn new and different patterns without them being too difficult. If you want to follow this video from the beginning to watch the steps over again, it'll just repeat this whole set perfectly. And then if you need to keep following the video, then you can. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this super quick video today. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.